Here is a solenoid, the main cause of the 59er CO error. I'm going to show you how to fix it in an easy and simple way, so stay tuned. So alright, what we are going to do is to open this cover on the right hand side of the printer, that is where the power plug is. And to do that, I'm going to remove this back cover and with my screwdriver, I'll remove this screw here. And open the front cover. Then I'm going to pry open this side with the flat edge of the screwdriver. Then we are going to carefully remove the side cover. And there are two clips on that, that you need to detach. So the clips are actually locked, so you have to use your flat, the flat end of your screwdriver to detach them so that it comes off easily. Then we pry open it from the front side also and the cover will come out easily this way. So this is the solenoid, that is um, the device that we are going to be working on inside the printer. What happens is that when you print any document or when the printer initializes, this metal part is supposed to um, move back and forth and touch this area. But the issue is that once it moves back, there's a sticky part here. A sticky foam there is not supposed to be sticky actually, but over time it becomes sticky. And once a, the metal part comes back this way, it will not be able to move back anymore. You can see the way it is locked. So that is what we are going to be fixing there. The first thing we do to get access to that solenoid is to remove the power, the power board. So remove the screws on the back side that is holding the power board to, to the panel. Then there is another screw here. Now we are going to remove the tray. So we'll be able to remove the, the screws. Then we'll remove the front cover also. There's a screw there that is holding the power board. There's a screw right here. Alright, so carefully detach the cables that is holding the power board to the printer. I'm going to keep this aside and the cable, I'm going to remove it from the plastic clip where it is arranged. Carefully remove all the cables and put it aside. We are not removing the cables completely, we just want to detach them from the uh, plastic clip that is holding them together neatly. Now detach this. Just be as careful as possible while you are doing this so that you won't break any cable or break any of the plastic device here. But this printer is very sensitive. Alright, so this is the clip. So 
I'm going to hold it aside like this. The solenoid is right under here. So I'm going to cut out a piece of paper. That is what we are going to use to cover the sticky area on the solenoid. You can see. So we are going to use it to cover it this way so that once the metal part moves back and forth like this, there is, nothing is going to hold it down. All right. So we, this is what the solenoid looks like again. And then this spring here, you can see that the same spring is here this way. So this is how the solenoid is facing inside the printer. So this is the area that we want to work on. This is where the sticky part is. Yeah, so this is where the sticky part of the print um, of the solenoid is. And that is what we are going to cover. So that when this other metal part moves back and forth, there is nothing sticky that is going to hold it down and prevent it from bouncing back the way it ought to. Because when it did, when it's not able to bounce back again, it is going to come off with that error. So what we want to do now is to stop this other metal part from sticking to each other. It's not supposed to stick to each other. It's supposed to bounce back and forth. As you print, it will bounce back and forth. So with the paper in between, it will cover that sticky part and then the metal part will be able to bounce back and forth the way it ought to. And that problem 59.co will be solved. So there is other ways that we can do this. We can remove the whole component, the whole gear set to be able to get access to the solenoid. But I will show you how to fix it the easy way without removing everything completely. So I'm going to get uh, a piece of paper or a piece of tape, whichever one is available to you. And then we are going to put it in between this area so that once it bounces back and forth, there will be nothing holding it. Here I have a piece of tape. I'm going to carefully insert it inside this hole so that I'll so that I'll cover the sticky part. So I was able to use my scissors to trim it down. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. All right, so you can see it's going to bounce back and forth and nothing is going to hold, hold it back again like before. So the problem right here is solved. What we want to do is to ensure that once this spring moves back and forth, back and forth, nothing will hold it back. So what we do right now is to couple the printer back just the way it is, attach all the cables the way it's supposed to be, and the error59.co problem is solved. So thank you for watching and I'll see you some other time.